फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द बेजिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक ब्रेक सिस्टम एंड इट्स वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल मोस्ट ऑफ द कार टूडे यूज हाइड्रोलिकली ऑपरेटेड ब्रेक्स ऑन ऑल द फोर व्हील्स विथ एन एडिशनल हैंड ब्रेक विच इज मेकेनिकली ऑपरेटेड ऑन द रियर व्हील साइड द मेन कंपोनेंट ऑफ द हाइड्रोलिक ब्रेक सिस्टम आर मास्टर सिलेंडर और टेंडम सिलेंडर एंड व्हील सिलेंडर मास्टर सिलेंडर कंटेंट्स रिजर्वर फॉर द ब्रेक फ्लूड मास्टर सिलेंडर इज ऑपरेटेड बाय द ब्रेक पेडल एंड इट इज फर्दर कनेक्टेड टू द व्हील सिलेंडर इन ईच व्हील थ्रू द स्टील पाइप्स यूनियंस एंड फ्लेक्सिबल पाइप हाइड्रोलिक ब्रेक सिस्टम वी कैन यूज इट विथ ड्रम ब्रेक एज वेल एज डिस्क ब्रेक the system is so designed that even when the brakes are in the uh, release position a small pressure is maintained in the pipelines to ensure that the cups of the cylinder are kept expanded this prevent the air from uh, entering into the cylinder when the brakes are released the main component of the hydraulic braking system is master cylinder and wheel cylinder we have already discussed now we will discuss how does master cylinder works this can be uh, rightly named as heart of the hydraulic braking system there are two main chamber the fluid reservoir and the compression chamber in which the piston operates or reciprocate the fluid in the reservoir it will uh, compensate for any change in the fluid volume in the pipelines due to temperature variation and due to any leakage problem to prevent any leakage there are rubber seals on both ends of the piston in the compression chamber the reduced diameter region of the piston is always surrounded by brake fluid a rubber boot covers the push rod end from the dirt entering inside it towards the brake lines side of the compression chamber there is a fluid check valve with a rubber cup inside it it serve to retain the residual pressure in the brake lines even when the brakes are released there are number of holes in the piston head on the primary seal side or we can say high pressure side two holes connect the fluid reservoir to the compression chamber here you can see that there are two holes okay which connect the reservoir to the compressor chamber the smaller one out of this is about 0.7 to 0.8 mm diameter and is called the bypass or we can say compensating port the second hole is called the intake port the push rod is operated with the foot brake pedal as the pedal is pressed push rod moves the piston to left hand side against the force of the spring till it covers the bypass port so it will travel up to the bypass port and it will covers the bypass port further movement of the push rod causes a building up of pressure in the compression chamber so uh, further we apply the more pressure so at a, at that time it will create or it will build the pressure in the compression chamber finally when sufficient pressure has built up the inner rubber cup of the fluid check valve is deflected and uh, it forcing the brake fluid under pressure in the lines the fluid enters the wheel cylinder and applying the brakes when the brake pedal is release the spring pressure in the compression chamber moves the piston to the right extreme position this same force of the spring keeps the fluid check valve press on its seat for some time and uh, thereby delay the return of fluid from the lines into the compressor chamber again so some delay is also caused by the inertia of the fluid in the lines and this uh, it will produce a vacuum in the compressor chamber and unless this is destroyed immediately there are small chances of air leakage into the system as we know that air is a gas and it is compressible in nature so even a very small amount of air will render the brake useless or sometimes it will fail 
because we know that air is compressible in nature so whenever you apply the force uh, through the uh, brake pedal on the fluid so at that time it will compress the air so whatever you uh, efforts applied on the foot pedal this effort is utilized to compress the air so sometimes it will become useless so this problem is uh, resolved by having intake port as shown in diagram as soon as some vacuum is formed the atmospheric pressure in the fluid reservoir forces the fluid through the intake port and uh, holes in the piston which uh, deflect the rubber cup and enters the compressor chamber and destroying the vacuum so here you can see that in a master cylinder okay top side here you can see that there is a air vent valve okay so here always uh, some positive pressure uh, will be there on to top side of the fluid surface so due to that uh, this fluid will enter into the intake port and holes in the piston which deflect the rubber cup and enters the compression chamber and destroying the vacuum so this is the uh, overall working of the master cylinder due to the problem of air leakage we can also use tandem cylinder instead of master cylinder so nowadays in some of the car we are also using tandem cylinder for the safety purpose so in tandem master cylinder ensures the reliability with not much extra cost in this separate lines go to the different sections of the brake system say the rear brakes and the front brakes and it is so arranged that if the front brakes lines are damaged the rear brakes will be still effective similarly if the rear brake lines is defective then at least front brakes will be applied a simplified diagram of the tandem master cylinder is shown under ordinary condition the brake fluid will transmit pressure both to the front as well as to the rear wheel brakes when the brake pedal is applied however when say the front brake lines are damaged at that time the piston 2 will move till it comes up to the against top 3 however when say the front brake lines are damaged at the time the piston 2 will move or travel up to the stop 3 after this pressure will start building up in the space between the piston 1 and 2 and uh, rear brakes will be applied similarly when the rear brake lines are damaged so no pressure will be built up in the space between the piston 1 and 2 so piston 1 will move freely till it comes up to against the piston 2 further push at the brake pedal will move both the piston 1 and 2 together thereby applying the front brakes such hydraulic brake system which employ tandem master cylinder to operate to different sections of the vehicle brakes are called split system so the advantage of the tandem master cylinder whenever any of the uh, front or rear side brake system will fail due to air leakage or any other problem so at that time at least one side brake system will work either front or rear now we will discuss the working principle of wheel cylinder wheel cylinder in the brake system are meant to force the brake shoe against the drum the construction is very simple each wheel cylinder is provided with piston rubber seals cup spreader springs and dust cover the brake lines from the master cylinder is attached to the inlet port and a bleeder screw with a cover is provided to bleed air from the system whenever required and uh, wheel cylinders are mounted on the back plate when the brakes are applied the fluid under pressure from the master cylinder enters into the inlet port and forces the piston to move outward to push the shoe against the drum we can also use wheel cylinder with the disc brake with suitable arrangement or mechanism similarly when the brakes are released the brake shoe retractor spring 
force the brake fluid out of the wheel cylinder by pushing the piston inward so its working principle is simple thank you friends for watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends